hey guys welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to learn about three different tool or option in wall that you need to know these are things that i think we don't use every day but if we learn about them it will help us a lot in our project so let's start first we are going to learn about reveal option in walls and we are going to learn how we can use it so first select your wall and go to its edit type go to edit and in here you can see this reveal option here click on it and you will have this window we're going to use this option to create a handrail on our wall. Mainly, we can use this in hospital or stairs. So, how we can use it? Click on this add option here and in profile section, click on this part and select one of these bricks. I'm going to select this one. Hit apply to see where it is located. Since this row is on exterior side, we have our reveal in this part. So, if you change it to interior, and apply it will be on this side with this number you can set its distance from this ground let's say we want it to be 80 centimeter above from our floor apply if you want to change its location from base to top you can just simply change this to top but since we want it to be here we're going to keep it on base also with this option you can set its distance from this Edge here so if you change it to 10 centimeter it will be in this part find the exact size that you want this reveal to cut your wall and enter it in this place if this profile is something that you have created yourself and it has some special shape and you want to change its direction you can use this flip option here with this you can flip and mirror your profile from this point like if you apply you can see that it will be mirrored from this line for now let's apply and okay now as you can see this is how reveal works if you go to 3d view you can see how it works so it don't have any layer in this part but it basically use the color and texture or material of this part as you can see here all of these parts are white if you change the material of this part all of these parts will turn to that color too now how we can use this as handle for this we need to some kind of shape in this part like a handle and we're going to create it on new profile so go to file and create a new family in profile just simple profile not profile reveal open and in here first set your unit now we're going to create our profile exactly on this walls some very simple shape like this i'm going to use reference plan to fix all of these lines with them click on this align then click on this part and lock it with here do this for all of these lines now select dimension and create a dimension from this point to here and create another one from this part to here i also want to create one in this part and another one in here select this and create a parameter for it let's call this fits select this one and create another parameter for it which is going to be our height i'm going to create separate parameter for each part because we might need to change them i'm going to save it as handle and then load it to my project go to section and select your wall Go to its edit type we are going to use our profile as a sweep for here so click on sweep and add new one in profile section select your family this handle here change its size to interior and its distance to let's say 80 centimeter apply as you can see it's exactly in the edge of this wall but it's a bit small so just go to families and find your profile click on type properties and you can see all of those numbers in here let's change this one to 10 centimeter and one or two centimeter for its thickness so this is one way that you can use this reveal option on your wall 
Another way that you can use this is to go to File and create a new family on Reveal Profile. The difference between this reveal profile and this one is that you don't need to add one sweep and one reveal. We are looking at our profile from section and as you can see this is the face of your wall and this part is your wall. You can attach and mix your reveal and your sweep your handrail together. How we can do this? Simply like this. Select rectangle and create the place that you want to cut from your wall maybe something like this okay now if you want to add handrail to this reveal you just need to do something like this exactly the shape of our rail okay and just cut these lines like this let me copy this and show it to you in here so this is the exact area that you want to cut your wall and if you leave this part alone this part is not going to be cut from your wall before we load it let's also create some reference plan and also a dimension to fix these dimensions so create one in here in this part i need one in here another one for this part and one in here okay now select align and lock all of these lines with these reference plans now use dimension to create parameter for them i'm going to create one for this part another one for here and one for this part and also one for this part another one for here and another one for this part I think it's much better to be able to control all of these parts separately instead of controlling them like with only height or width. So I'm going to create parameters for each part like we created for profile. Exactly like this. Let's save this. And load it to our project now in here select your wall and go to its edit type put it on section the let sweep and also this reveal from here instead add another one and use this reveal handle for it make sure it's on interior side and put it its distance to 80 centimeter from base okay and apply as I said, it's exactly cut your wall like a handrail. So if you look at it from 3D view, you will have something like this. I mean, if you had a wooden wall and instead of this gypsum here, you had used wood for all of these parts, you had perfect detail for a wooden handrail on your wall. And also, you know that you can add lighting to your wall, right? If you don't, you can watch this video in top right corner. Now let's move on to second part. I think this is one of the most important things when it comes to using wall in Revit. So I'm going to create a line in here and I'm going to choose another type of wall. We're going to talk about location line in here and as you know we have six different type of alignment for this. Let's start with wall center line. I'm going to set it on wall center line and do a very simple wall on this line. What wall center line means? If you select your wall and go to edit type, you can see lots of different layers in here. But when you put your alignment on wall center line, your wall will be created regardless of all of these layers. And it will be exactly on the center of your wall, on the center of this thickness here. So your total thickness is 492 millimeter. And your wall will be exactly between these numbers. It doesn't matter where your core boundary is. It doesn't matter what kind of finishes you have. Your wall will be created exactly on its center. Now I'm going to create another one on core center line. What is its differences? If I draw one in here, you can see that its location is different. But how? 
select your role and go to its edit type now when you want to create your wall on its core center line you're going to create your wall exactly between these layer actually it doesn't matter how many layer you have in this core boundary it will be always on the center of this part insert another layer and move it down to this core boundary let's give it like five centimeter and change it to let's for now use gravel with this sharp color this is on core center line so this part and this part should be the same i'm going to use this model line here to create these lines and with this dimension i'm going to measure these parts if i change this scale you will see that both of these parts are equal but if you look at this wall which is on wall center line you can see that from this point to this point and from here to this point is equal so there are lots of different between them let's move on to the next wall so i'm going to set it on finish face exterior and i'm going to draw one in here then I'm going to change it to finish face interior and I'm going to draw exactly one in here. But what is the differences between them? These two types are exactly opposite of core center line or wall center line. They work only with exterior side and interior side. So it doesn't matter what kind of layer or material you have in this part or in this part. If you select finish face exterior side and draw your line, you will have your wall exactly on this exterior side. This is useful when you want to draw a wall on elevation. And on the other hand, we have this finish face interior side and it will use the latest the final material on this part on interior side and it will draw your wall exactly based on that so if you want to draw a wall in interior side of your project you can use this option the other two modes like core face interior and core face exterior are somehow like this but with kind of differences instead of using the final layer on interior side or exterior side they're going to use the latest layer on core boundary so this gravel which is not used in walls actually this is on exterior side so if you draw your wall on core boundary exterior it will be on exactly this layer but if you use core boundary interior side it will be on here because this structure this core boundary in a structure section is closer to interior side so it's using this part this is used when you want to create a structure wall on your project but you want it to be exactly on a structure side and you don't want to cross boundaries between a structure and architecture this is very useful on those occasions okay these are everything about differences between each mood each part of this location line here let's just move on to third tool this is actually something that i have found recently and i am so excited about this if you click on this wall option here and scroll down a little bit you will find this soffit here this is used for walls in sailing you know that when we want to have composite sailing or we design our sailing and want to like cover some parts like this if you want to use this go to your sailing plan and select soffit again select rectangle and put your view on wireframe we have two different sailing in here this outer rectangle is one part and this part this like frame part in here is the lower one i'm going to draw my soffit on this wall because i want it to be exactly on this line i'm going to set it on finish face interior and i'm going to draw it on here now let's go to our section and set one of these walls i'm going to move it to this part and i will set its base to here like this if you look at it from this point you can see 
how it works this is exactly its interior side and it's perfectly aligned with this and if i move the other part as well like this we can see that they are exactly on their place like other walls you can select it and go to its edit type in here you can change its thickness and add or remove some kind of layers in here i think it's also a very smart move to add your lighting to these kind of walls instead of these basic walls okay that's all about three different must known tools in revit and as bonus i'm going to talk about another thing that is very important to know in Revit. So I'm going to delete these walls and extend this one and I will add this door to it just to show you this tip here. If you look at this wall you can see that the material in this part and in this part is different. You can also see it in this part. We have two different options for times when we have like inserts in our walls like door or windows and also we have another option for wrapping at ends. So if you go to the edit type of your wall, in here you can see that default wrapping. We have one which is at inserts and another one which is at ends. Let's put at inserts to interior and at end to exterior what will happen here this part in this end will turn to our exterior layer which is a break and this part in this insert part will turn to the material of this interior layer which is gypsum let's apply to see their differences see we have this interior layer here and this exterior layer in this part. If you look at it from plan, you can see that this wall is wrapped with this exterior material. And in this intersect, we have this interior layer. But if you go back again and change this default wrapping to both, you will have both of them in here exactly on the center line of your wall this is another way that you can have clean and perfect revit project which you can control everything like what you want so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial